Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of the Create Flavored Mod Pack series. Today we're finally going to be diving into trains. I'm so excited for this. Between episodes I did a little bit of grinding. Not a whole lot, mostly just planning things out. Um, getting the road here designed. Um, so I decided to go with a, uh, a granite floor with sort of a andesite sidewalk area, I guess you could call it. I've also sort of figured out where I want a lot of my uh, my factories and builds to go in the future. Um, so one of the important things is the train station here. Um, this is where we're going to be unloading and loading cargo, which can then be dropped off here at the where's drop off point. And that will be connected into our system here. And you can see here there are, um, what color is this again? I think it's light gray. Yeah, light gray concrete powder laid out pretty much all through the lands here. And if I actually open up my map, um, it might be a little bit easier to tell. Um, but yeah, this is actually the path of the train that we're going to make. It'll go all the way down here to the tree farm. It'll also cross here over the ravine into sort of where we have our quarry. Um, from each of these places, it'll pick up items. It'll then turn around, come back, come all the way up, um, loop around the buildings here. I want it to basically come around in an upside down U. Um, mostly to make it easier to turn around. And then around this area is where we're going to have everything dropped off. And then it'll come down the street. And it'll join back in with the uh, rest of the uh, tracks. I'll add a few points here and there that will make track switching a little bit easier. And yeah, that way our trains don't uh, run into each other because... I do want to have two or three trains, at least for now. Um, possibly do even more in the future. Um, I definitely want one that goes just from the quarry uh, to our storage facility. One that goes from the tree farm to the storage facility. And then one that kind of circles around um, everywhere and is sort of more of a civilian transport. Um, that'll be the train that I ride around. And if you haven't guessed already, today we're going to finally dive into trains. I'm so excited for this. Let's, uh, let's jump into it. First things first, we're going to have to be able to make train tracks. Now, this is actually a fairly simple recipe. Um, it's just a slab. It could be an andesite slab, a stone slab, etc. And then with... Uh, three deployers, sorry, two deployers and a, um, what is this thing called? Compressor? Uh, I can't remember exactly, but, uh, so we have two deployers here. They insert either zinc nuggets or iron nuggets. And then the third one stamps it down and that will actually create our track. Next up, we're also going to need to make a few train stations. Uh, this will add stops along the tracks. And in order to make the train stations, we're actually going to need train casings. So if we take a look here, these require uh, brass casings. And inside of a deployer, we need a sturdy sheet. Which, um, yeah, it's going to require a little bit of lava. Fortunately, we shouldn't have to automate this quite yet. Um, but I do want to have a system here. That's uh, fairly automatic, so all we have to do is, you know, put like an item inside and and it'll uh, it'll make it. We'll also need train controls, which will require a precision mechanism. This is yet another sequence, so this will be three deployers in a row. Um, one inserting cogwheels, one inserting large cogwheels, and a and the last one's inserting iron nuggets, and that will actually. And apparently we have to repeat that sequence five times. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> starting to get pretty technical. 
So in order to make these processes a little bit easier to manage, um, I think I'm going to use this facility here. And yeah, we'll convert this into our train making operation station. A little bit of a mouthful, but yeah, I think this will do. Um, I already have this marked out a little bit. I'm not sure the exact measurements, but yeah, I think I'm just going to build this really quick and clear this area out. I don't think I'm going to go too complex with it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Alright, so I just finished planning something out in creative. And I think it's going to turn out super well. Um, unfortunately, I am going to need quite a lot of diorite and bricks. So hopefully we can uh, grind those materials out and get started on the build. That's the build mostly finished off. It took a while and I grinded for quite a while, but yeah, it's like 98% done. Um, the most important thing is we have four walls and a roof. I need to uh, finish the little slope part here. Um, I'm still waiting on some more bricks, but um, for now, this is probably as far as we're going to get. Uh, we gotta get the episode rolling, so, yeah. So I want to get started on, uh, at least getting the tracks for now. So, what I'm gonna do is make two deployers and a press. And maybe a couple of hoppers for this, maybe? Hopefully that can work. I'm not exactly sure how... That'll work out. Um, hopefully that should do, though. Alright, there is our deployers. And a mechanical press. Just gonna grab a couple of hoppers and a few water wheels for power. 
So the plan for this is to have a sort of central power station. Um, I'm thinking... Thinking I put it somewhere underground, maybe just right down here. And I want this area to look pretty nice because I actually want it to be observable from the top. So I'm just going to replace all the walls. So I'm just going to place the water wheels here. And I realize I made a five wide hole here, so uh, what I might do is add two more water wheels here just to balance things out. Okay, so I think I'm going to just build this off to the side here. And, oh man, I just realized I didn't put this in the center. Oh, that's going to bother me just a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to put my belt here. It's going to need three. So we'll go something like this. The press is last. Oop. I'm going to put that one higher, and the deployers, something like this, like that, there we go. And it looks like they need to be in placing mode, like if I right click that, there we go. And I'm going to try the uh, hoppers here. Okay, so it does look like the nuggets will go in. And I'm just going to add a filter here to both of them, just in case. And I just moved this one away from the wall just to make powering everything a little bit easier. So next, I'm just going to add a shaft here. That'll connect directly to our power below. And then one here, which will bring the power up. And, hmm, wonder what the best way to actually do this will be. Okay, with a little bit of uh, messing around with it, this is probably not the best solution for this, but it works for these purposes. This looks a little bit weird. Not sure what happened to it. Um, anyway, so... I'm gonna fix the floor really quick and on the left side I'm gonna add let's see here, where's our chest here we go so okay, hopefully that'll work otherwise I'll just have to move it a little bit and one on this side ah huh. interesting that it'll work there but not oh wait <laughs> That's a shaft. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. Um, okay, so now I should just have to go and grab some slabs. So it looks like andesite, stone, or smooth stone is our options. I already do have a few uh, andesite. Uh, well, those are polished. I wonder if those will work. Hopefully they do. Right, I'm going to put it in. And nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to uh, go and find some uh, stone slabs or something. Alright, I managed to find some stone slabs, so hopefully this will work. Hmm, still not. Alright, I got it to uh, work finally. Um, You don't need to make it wider like I did here, you just need to... Uh, Make sure that the deployers are in the default view. So here is our first train track. Nice. I'll, uh, I'll let a few more of these craft up and then uh, we'll take a look at them. Alright, so I have a few uh, tracks here now, and I kind of want to test them out here in front of the uh, the base. So, I have played around with these a little bit in creative, but I've never touched them in survival. So I should just have to right click, and then if I right click again... I see, okay, so it does have a uh, 
It keeps track of how many you're using, which I figured it would, but... Okay, sweet. That looks so good. I can't wait to have this entire area just uh, filled with train tracks. Alright, so now I want to attempt a turn. And hopefully... Hmm, something like that should work. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Yeah, the texture is a little bit weird there, but still, this is so impressive, like just how great it looks. So my initial plan was to have this sort of turn down this way, but yeah, it, um, it definitely cannot turn sharp enough, unfortunately can almost get it to how I want it, but it ends up just uh, coming over to where this building is. So I think what I'm going to do instead is have it just run this way. So admittedly, I went a little bit ham on placing tracks. Um, as you can see, I've uh, pretty much got most of this side figured out. Um, I'm still working on getting the tracks for the turn back here. Um, but so, this track will go this way, and eventually it will meet up with this one. I'm gonna have a signal here to, uh, prevent the train from coming this way if there's already one going this way. And then this will go down, and eventually through this tunnel. Um, we still need to drill this out. I have a plan for that, but I don't know if we're gonna get to it today. So for trains that are coming from that way, going this way. Um, they come this way, they always go left here. They follow the track this way. We're gonna have a um, railroad crossing here for this road. And any other time that we have uh, train tracks crossing a uh, path. Except for over here because this is sort of... Um, it's more of like a downtown sort of inner city train, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this one just con continues going this way, goes up the hill and around, and eventually it'll turn. I'm still trying to uh, get the blocks to uh, flatten this area out. Gotta remove this hill as well, and then it'll come this way. And then we'll have a uh, train station around here. Maybe right in front of this, uh, just to uh, sort of keep it uh, in theme. Now, I don't know if I actually mentioned this, but the inspiration for this uh, building is very much a train... It's very much a uh, train museum, or... Oh. Can I talk, please? Uh, anyway, like I... Uh, locomotive museum um, so what I want to do um, is have a uh, track here in front and then I'm actually gonna build a train on the uh, front steps here I think it'll look pretty cool but we'll do that a little bit later on after we actually have a train up and running speaking of trains I want to get started on automating our train casings so, um, as you might be able to remember, now we can do this manually, um, but I do want to uh, do this automatically. Um, so, we're going to need stripped logs, brass, and sturdy sheets. Alright, oh, so the process for the sturdy sheets is what we need to automate. So the first step is to spout lava, second is uh, stamp, and third is stamp. And we also need powdered obsidian for this, which is pretty simple, it's just um, obsidian within a crushing wheel. Unfortunately though, I'm really low on obsidian, so I'm probably going to have to go and uh, mine some more. 
But first things first, we're going to need a spout, which will require a copper casing, which is pretty simple. It's just a copper ingot on a uh, stripped oak log. Nice, and it looks like we've entered the copper age. Alright, there's our spout, and a couple of mechanical presses. So what I'm going to do is pretty much just mirror this design over here. So we'll put an input chest on this side. Actually, I'm thinking we uh, completely mirror it and have our input on this side and then output on that side. Hmm. Not sure how it'll work out. Belt down here. Remember, it doesn't need to be five wide, but I'm going to make it five wide just in case. All right, so the belt's moving this way. Next, we're just going to let's see here. I believe it's on this one and this one. We need a press something something like that yep that looks good and then the spout goes on this side now I'm not sure if this thing actually needs power it looks like it doesn't so I should just have to fill that up with lava and it should work okay and this should be the last belt we need to hook up hopefully everything's running it looks good so now I should just have to go and find some lava and grab our crushed obsidian. Alright, so we're pretty much ready for a test run. Hopefully I can just... Hmm... Uh, I might need a tank on top of this, actually. So tanks are a pretty simple recipe. We just need two copper sheets and a barrel, wherever my barrel went. Just like that. Okay, you know, hopefully I can just place this on top, and hopefully I can just right-click a bucket into it. Uh, I don't understand. Alright, I'm gonna try an item drain, hopefully that works. So I'll just put this directly on top, and there we go. I'm not actually sure if that went inside. <laughs> Uh, fluids in this mod are so complicated. I think I need a pipe there. Okay, so it looks like we're going to need a few additional things here. Looks like we're going to need one of these and a few more pipes. While we're waiting for that, when was the last time you checked if you were subscribed? According to my analytics, about 50% of you guys are not subscribed who are watching this series, and about 99% watching on my whole channel. Subscribing is easy. It's free, and it makes me happy, so might as well do it, right? All right, and here's our first few fluid pipes. And I'm assuming we're only gonna need a single mechanical pump. Okay, so it looks like we have the power hooked up here now. And I just want to test the system out by going to get another bucket of lava. Eventually, I do want to automate um, lava production. I'm not sure if we can actually produce it, but I know that uh, we can go into the uh, nether and gather pretty much infinite amounts of it. And a pretty cool thing about the trains is they can actually travel through dimensions. Alright, so I have my bucket here and I should just have to right click it onto that. And lava should start going in here. Um, if we right click a pipe with a wrench, we can actually get a little bit of a window. And it doesn't appear to be draining. I may need to reverse the flow of this. Oh, and it looks like lava is finally coming through. Do you see it there? And nice. So this should be pretty much empty now. Sweet. So we should just be able to go for a test run now. I'm just going to use one obsidian now. Oop, that's our output. There's the input. Ah, right, um... <laughs> e um... Well, this is awkward. I, uh, set these up in the wrong... way. Um... I should still be able to go like this. There we go. I should go on to this one. Hopefully the lava here doesn't uh, break it or something like that. 
there's our first sturdy sheet. Nice. So what I can do now is place down a few brass casings and right click our sturdy casings on them. Nice. So we finally, finally entered the logistical era. So what I want to do next is quickly craft a train station. And unfortunately, that will consume one of our train casings. And I'm just going to extend the rail out here a little bit more. Oh, that's a weird uh, angle there. Um, I want to build all of my trains here. Um, I don't want this to slope. I just want it to go over like that. Something like that should do for now. It should start turning, but I'll figure that out in a little bit. Um, so, I think probably right here will be a good place for uh, the train station. So if we right click a track with the train station, and I'm not sure exactly how far away we can put this, um, but I think I just want it uh, maybe here for now. So now we can just right click the tra uh, track station. And I'm actually going to rename this to our uh, warehouse station. And what we can do now is create a new train. So as you can see here in the train assembly menu, we have no bogies attached. So all we need to do is grab our train casing and just plonk it down. Oops. And there is actually a way to... Um, Change the version of this, so there's this one with four wheels, and then there's one with two wheels. Um, but yeah, this is, technically speaking, our uh, first train. Now, we still need um, train controls, which is going to be one more recipe. Um, I'll get to that in a little bit. And yeah, I think I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera to... Uh, make a few more train casings. So the last uh, system we're going to cover today is pretty much done now. Um, I just needed to add a few hoppers here. And I'm thinking I might also add a mechanical press at the beginning. Um, hopefully if it'll let me. Um, because it actually needs golden sheets. And yeah, I want to just be able to... Hmm... Why won't you rotate? There we go. Um, I want to just be able to put gold ingots in. Just to make things go a little bit uh, more smoothly. So I'm just going to go like this. And oops. There we go. Hopefully that'll work. Um, so in this first chest, we're going to need... Oh, man. I think it's small. Let me just double check. Yep, small, big, and then iron. Iron nuggets specifically. So small, big, nuggets. I'll probably add labels to this later on just to uh, make it a little less confusing. So I think I'm going to give it a test run. Oh, and... Okay, so it does look like the mechanical press worked there. First cog wheel's going down. Second one, and the last. Nice. Oh, interesting. So this actually needs to go through um, five times. That's a little bit much. Um, yeah. We might add a system to recycle that later on, but... Yeah, for now, I'm just gonna manually go through. And this should be the last time it needs to go through. Looks like I did put just enough cogwheels in. So... 
Nice. So what the uh, precision mecha uh, mechanism will do is allow us to craft train controls. Uh, we can also use it for a few different other things like the mechanical arms, which are going to be pretty useful later on. Um, some nozzle fans, not really sure what that does. Looks like that's from an add-on. As well as the rotation speed controller, which is, uh, yeah, that's going to be super useful. Basically, it allows you to adjust the uh, speed of... Nice, yeah, just like that. It's going to be super useful for speeding things up. Alright, so I'm just going to craft a few more train casings. We probably won't need all of these right now, but it'll definitely be nice to uh, have them all. And I just want to craft up the train controls. So, that's pretty much everything we're going to need in order to make trains. Um, we'll also need super glue to uh, get everything connected up together. So what I'm going to do now is make a very, very basic train. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, go something like this, get another um, train casing down at the back. So I'm just going to be showing off how the uh, mechanics of this work. Now unfortunately there's no way to easily climb this. You can attach um, like stairs or a ladder to make this go a little bit easier. So I think I'm just going to put train controls down there and yeah just glue it up in the uh, most derpy looking train you've ever seen. But hopefully that will allow us to assemble it. So if we go into our train station, we can uh, click Assemble Train. Nice. And we want to uh, name this the Derp. Cool. So, oh, that's a weird uh, visual bug there. Um, But, so now all we should have to do is right click the controls. You can see that it's assembled. Uh, because it gets a little bit lighter um, in color, but yeah, so enough stalling, here we go. So, uh, here we go. The, uh, the wheels keep on disappearing, which I'm not sure, but oh, uh -huh, this is. Is this as far as we can go? Oh, I see. I kind of messed up the uh, track up there. Uh, you can kind of see that, uh... <laughs> yeah, I must have clicked it on the uh, wrong one. Yeah, if you just hold S, you can go backwards, W for forwards. Um, if there's ever a point where you need to turn, um, you can just use left or right. Or A or D, I should say. Then, if you're um, approaching a station, if you just hold space, it'll automatically uh, park you there. So guys, unfortunately that's all the time we're going to have for today. Um, yeah, this episode ran a little bit longer than I thought it would. Fortunately though, we are in the brains now. So, the uh, possibilities are pretty much endless now. Um, in the next one, I want to get sort of the uh, the train tracks finished off here and yeah, a uh, passenger cart going around and maybe hook this up to the tree farm if we have time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.